Hey guys, welcome back to another Startup Wise video. Today, I'm gonna to talk about everything you need to know about multicam editing on Final Cut Pro. Multicam editing is super efficient when you're recording the same scene with two different cameras and you want to be able to easily switch from one angle to the next. Now, before we talk about how to do multicam editing, first, let's talk about recording your scene. The first thing that you're gonna to want to do is make sure that the audio is on for all camera angles. This makes it super easy for Final Cut Pro to sync your audio on all the different angles and then combine them into one clip for you. Now, you don't need to make the audio perfect for all the different cameras. All you need is just one clean source of audio and the rest of the angles can just be recorded using default mic that's in the camera. Once that's done, the next step that you're gonna want to do is organize your files. Okay, so here I am on my Final Cut Pro. As you guys can see, I have a folder that has all of my multi-cam clips on it. And you can see that I also separated them from their different angles. So you can see that I have the main camera, I have the center angle, and then I also have the side angle. Once that's done, I'm going to take all these files and then import it onto my Final Cut Pro library. And once they're in the library, I'm going to be able to give all the different angles a name. So the way I'm going to do that inside of Final Cut Pro is I'm going to first choose, a, let's say the main camera angle. I'm going to go up here to the top right hand corner where it shows the info inspector. And from here, I'm going to go down to where it says basic, and then I'm going to click on extended. That's going to basically open up the section right here where you can enter in the camera angle as well as the camera name. So for this one, I'm going to have this as angle one. And then I'm also going to give the camera a name. So this was shot on the Sony A7S 3 And then I'm going to go ahead and name all the other ones as well. So this one is the center angle. So I'm going to go ahead and name this one angle two. And I'm going to give the camera name. So this was shot on the GoPro. And I'm also going to do that for the second center clip as well. So I'm going to have this as angle two. And I'm going to name it GoPro. Last, I'm gonna do the same thing for the side angle. So I'm gonna name this camera angle three, and I'm gonna give it the name of GoPro as well. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the second clip of the side angle. So I'm gonna name it angle three, and then give it a name of the GoPro that it was shot on. Now from here, I'm gonna choose all the different angles from the very first clip. So I'm gonna choose main one, center one, and side one. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, and then I'm gonna click right here where it says new multi-cam clip. Then it's gonna pop up with this menu where I can name it. So I'm just gonna name this Jake multi-cam clip one. And then right here where it has use audio for synchronization, I'm gonna make sure that this is checked. And then I'm gonna click okay. From here, it's gonna sync up the different angles inside of the multi-cam clip. And once that's done, you guys can see that it creates a new clip here on the library. And if I go ahead and drag this onto the timeline, then you can see that it just turns into one clip. Now, if I wanna go inside of this clip and change each angle, then I can go ahead and double click on it. And if I go ahead and maximize this, then you guys can see that it has the camera angle one, two, and three. You guys can also see that they start at a different time because it syncs up the audio from all the different angles. So like I said, very important for you guys to have the audio turned on for all the different angles. That way, when it syncs up onto Final Cut Pro, it does it automatically for you and you don't have to manually sync the sound to their lips. Now from here, if you wanna see the different angles, then what I do is I go up to the top left-hand corner where it says view and I'm gonna click on that. And right here where it says show in viewer, I'm gonna go ahead and click on angles. Now from here, I like to also minimize my library. That way it just gives me a little bit more space to work with. If I maximize that, you guys are gonna see that it comes up with the first, second, and third angle. Now right here, because the recording is only on the first angle, you guys see a black screen on the second and third. But if I go ahead and I play through the video, you guys are gonna see that it starts recording at a later point. So I'm gonna go ahead and blade this section of the clip. And from here, you guys have some different options at the top left-hand corner. Do you have the video and audio focusing, you have just the video switching, and you also have the audio only switching. Like I said in the beginning, you wanna have the clean audio on just one angle, and then you can focus on that angle on Final Cut Pro for just the audio. And for the rest of the angles, you can just have it switch from the video. This makes the audio consistent because let's say you have a lavalier mic connected to your first camera angle, and then the second and third angles are just taken from the default mic, then it's gonna sound inconsistent throughout your video. So yeah, you wanna make sure that you have the audio selected for just one of the clips. Now from here, if you want to switch angles at any point, then you just have to move your playhead to wherever you wanna switch it. And from here, I can go up and let's say I wanna switch it to the third angle. If I go ahead and click on that, you're gonna see that the rest of the clip is in the third angle. And let's say I wanna move it to the second angle right here. So I'm gonna click right there on the playhead and then I'm gonna choose the second angle. Now, an easier way of doing this is actually to just use your number keys. So if you go ahead and you have your playhead on the section that you wanna switch, 
switch, then all you have to do is just press from one, two, or three. So right here, I'm just gonna press one and you can see that it switches back to one. And if I go ahead and hover over here and press two, then you guys are gonna see that it switches to the second angle. Now, the great thing about this is that you can also switch angles while you're playing it. So you can go ahead and press spacebar. And then while you're watching the video, you could just go ahead and switch from two, three, one, and you could just switch through it while you're playing the video like that. And now you might be wondering where we can add the second clips into the multicam clip. So I'm gonna do that right now. Basically, I'm just gonna close this viewer right here with the angles just so I can give myself a little bit more space. I'm gonna open back up the library and if I go into the multicam clip, then I can go ahead and scroll until the center and the side angles run out. So right here. And then from here, I can add in the center two. So I can add that right here. And then I can also add the side two right here. And if I open back up the angles and I'm just gonna close the library, then you guys can see that if I scroll all the way through, it's not gonna lose the center or the side angle because I put it into the multicam clip so it syncs all the way through. So that's pretty much it for the basics of multicam editing on Final Cut Pro. I hope you guys got some value out of this tutorial. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. We make a ton of tutorials and how-to guides here on StartupWise dedicated to helping entrepreneurs and new content creators take their business to the next level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.